Let's make this project left-handed. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you my asymmetrical scarf. It is a hood scarf. It starts with the hood and then we go through the scarf part and it is really easy. I used two and a half skeins of my Karen cakes. Remember these that I found? I didn't know what I was going to do with them and I thought of something really fast. So I, used, I had four. I've used two and a half. And this one is, is this Turkish Turkish Delight. I don't understand that because that's candy and I don't know of any blue candy. But okay. And it tells me to use a five millimeter hook. I'm going to use a six and a half for this design. So get your six and a half millimeter hook and any four weight. This is a four weight. So any four weight will do. You can use Karen Simply Soft or Red Heart or any of the other four weights that you want, but use a six and a half millimeter hook. Start out with your slip knot and we're going to chain any even number. For the scarf that I made, this particular pattern, I chained 80, but for simplicity I'm going to chain 10. If you want to make this hood scarf, you want to chain 80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so any even number will do. You make it as wide or as narrow as you like. So I've done ten here. We're going to turn our chain over and work in these back bumps all the way down. It's important. I know that that can kind of be a pain because it takes so much longer than just chaining cha or than just crocheting into the chains, but going into these back bumps leaves you a very nice edge. It's really important. So we are going to single crochet all the way back down in these back bumps. So if you did the chain 80 like I did for my hood, let's, we're working on the hood first, you did the chain 80 you will end up with 79 single crochets when you're done with this row one. Working in the back bumps is extremely important. I know it can be a little tedious, but it really makes a nice edge. And if you want it to look, you want it to look finished. See, there's always one that argues back. There we go. And here's my last one. There we go. I chained 10, so I have nine single crochets. Again, if you were doing this pattern, you'd have, have chained 80 and you'd have 79. So now we're going to go on to the next row of the hood chain one and turn your work so you're ready to do the other one and surprise I'm using the Suzette stitch. That's why it worked up so cute because I love that stitch. The Suzette stitch is a single crochet in this very first stitch right here, single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch and then you skip one And do the same, a single and a double in that stitch. And skip one, single, and a double. Skip one, single, and a double. Skip one, and the very last stitch in a Suzette is just a single crochet, does not include the double crochet that keeps your stitches even. So there you go, there's the first row. To go on to row three, you chain and do the exact same thing again. This is an easy stitch, that's why I like it so much. It crochets up quickly and it really looks cute. And it's really not hard, it's a no-brainer. Single and a double in the first stitch and a skip, single and a double, Next stitch, skip, single, 
and a double in that stitch, skip, single, and double in that stitch, skip this one, and the very last stitch gets a single crochet only. We'll do that one more time. So that was a chain one, turn your work, now we're ready to work again. Alright, so we're going to pretend that we did that 38 times. 38 rows total of Suzette stitch for the hood part, for the big part. Now to make the scarf, which is going to be, this is asymmetrical, so this, this is the hood and the scarf is going to go off from one side. Instead of the hood being centered on the scarf, it is going to have the scarf go off from one side. So now, do you finish your rows of Suzette. Now we want to chain an odd number, any odd number. On this particular pattern, if you're following this pattern, I chained 221. 221. I'm going to just chain on this example, I'm going to chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is just so you can get the idea of what you need to be doing without watching me chain 221. So I chained 11. We're going to turn it over, turn over our chain just like we did the first time and work in these back bumps all the way back down to the hood. So now since I chained 11 I am going to single crochet in that back bump, go under the back bump but the other two loops are going to be under the hook and single crochet. I chained 11 so I'll end up with 10 of these. There's number 2, there's number 3, there's number 4, see it's tricky especially when you have 221 of them but it's worth it. It makes a really nice edge. Since I have the luxury of doing so, so, I only have to count 10 instead of 220, we're just going to count our chains or count our stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now we're back to the hood. Right in here. We're back to the hood. We have 10 single crochets just came back down our scarf chain, but now we're going to go back and start using the Suzette stitch again. So in this very first stitch, it's a single crochet and a double crochet and a skip, single crochet and a double crochet and a skip, single, double and a skip, single, double and skip and in the very last one, as always, it's a single crochet only. Now we're going to turn or chain one and turn our work and work all the way down, all the way down. So that was a chain one and turn our work and a single crochet and a double crochet. We're Suzetting again all the way down and skip, single crochet, double crochet skip, single crochet, double crochet, and a skip. Skip. And now we're back to the chain. So we're going to still continue our Suzette stitch. This is 
we worked in here, we have to skip this one, single, and a double in this stitch. And a skip, single, and a double, and a skip, single, and a double, a skip, single, and a double, and a skip, and there's our last stitch. See? And he gets a single crochet only. So now the reason why I do this, this one started out, when you're just making the hood, that starts out with an even number of chains so that when you work back down it with your single crochets you end up with an odd number. So I chained 80 for this, ended up with 79. But for this part, I chained an even number, or an odd number, so when I crochet, single crocheted back down, I ended up with an even number. You add this one and this one together, they need to equal an odd number in order to do a Suzette stitch. You need to have an odd number of working stitches in order to do a Suzette. So a chain one and turn our work, single and a double, and we're back to our last stitch. Skip this one, and last stitch gets a single crochet only. There you go. And this is like the little dolly version. I think it's cute. But there's the hood, and the scarf part would be like this. This is actually considerably longer. There's 299 stitches along here all the way. We're going to continue the after you do the 16 rows of the 299 to get the scarf length. Then all you have to do is finish off. If you want to, you can do a border all the way around if you have interest in doing so. I like the way the edges work on a Suzette stitch, probably why it's one of my favorite stitches. I think it looks nice, so I rarely put a border on it. It finishes itself nicely. It saves a lot of time, saves a lot of yarn, and it still looks really nice. So you can see how that works here. So that's about it. All you need to do is finish this guy off and it's done. I had this done in, oh what did I do? I had this guy done in probably, I think I had it done in a weekend just because it was one of those kind of weekends. But there he is, really long. I'll have a picture of it in use so you can really see how long it is. But there you go. That is my oopsie fuzzies. That is my asymmetrical hood scarf. I think it is awesome. I love this pattern. It was really easy. It just came to my mind and I tried it and it, it looked nice the first try. I love that. Sometimes I have to try a couple of times because it's just not the right length or whatever, but I like the way it turned out the first time. So I'm really excited by this one. I hope you are too. Uh, again, Beth with Thimble Hooks, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business and please subscribe to my channel so I can continue making really fun things like this and share them with all of you. Thanks. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. I'm done, babe.